Vice President Dr. Madhubamia has announced that the 100,000 jobs to be created under the Nation Builders Corp. NAPCO initiative will be launched on May 1, 2018. NAPCO is aimed at tackling graduate unemployment in Ghana. The Vice President said this at the congregation of the Investor of Education, Winneba, where he reiterated government's commitment at providing favorable conditions to improve education at all levels. A total of 7,667 graduates received certificates, diplomas, first and second degrees, and postgraduate awards at the university's congregation. The chairman of the governing council, Professor Reverend Nicholas Abeka, said, despite the success chalked by the university, the institution has to battle with some court injunctions against management members. He noted that the council has appointed Professor Reverend Alfred Brony as the acting vice chancellor of UEW pending the appointment of substantive person or the reinstatement of the former vice chancellor. Professor Abeka also assured all stakeholders to remain steadfast since the council remains resolute to improve the standards of the university. The council shall do everything within its powers even as it shall not spare the minutest hint of effort to ensure that no segment of the university's operations is jeopardized in any way during this critical period. The acting vice chancellor of UEW, Professor Reverend Alfred Bruni, lauded government for the financial clearance that led to the appointment of medical staff to assist the health needs of the university community. He emphasized that due to the new e-learning and registration system introduced at the distance education level, coordinators and tutors who do not meet the required standards will have the appointments terminated. Your Excellency, UEW is a strong believer in the government's agenda for the education sector. As one practical sign and for starters, we have put in place concrete plans to build, in addition to our ongoing projects, four sets of 500 capacity lecture pavilions at our Winneba campus two at the north and two at the south campuses. Mr. Chairman, we are hopeful that within three months from takeoff, these pavilions will be ready for use as we begin the new academic year. The Vice President, Dr. Maumadu Baumia, also reiterated government's quest to invest in education of people regardless of their financial constraints. He noted that to solve the unemployment situation in the country, the President will on the 1st of May launch seven modules to be operated under the Nation Builders Corps, NAPCO, which will provide job opportunities for the unemployed youth. Government believes that matters involving education are critical and therefore must be handled with all objectivity, devoid of partisan political undertones. The government is indeed prepared and willing to sacrifice the last Peswa to educate the last child, because education is our future, and our future is in education. Dr. Baumia announced that about 100,000 graduates who have completed their national service are expected to be engaged under NAPCO this year.